We're supposed to be completely new creatures because of the regeneration. The, the being recreated or God's recreational home. Oh, that recreation is hard. His creating us again. We're completely <coughs> new creatures. So we need to show in our lives. You know what? what understanding the foundation of our behavior does? It gives us hope. Valjean had a new sense of hope because of that. And because of what Christ did for us in paying the penalty of our sins on the cross, we now have a new hope. We no longer have to live in anger, in bitterness. We no longer have to live in, in, in being spiteful, in, in saying nasty things. We can have hope to be like Christ. We no longer have to have to be lazy or, or just nasty or enslaved to sin. Now we have hope to be more like Christ. You know, through the work that he's done already in giving us a new nature, he now gives us new desires so we don't have to be like our old selves. We don't have to be like the way we used to be. So now that we understand our foundation, let's look at our model. The model of our new behavior, our new actions, the way that we are supposed to be, are modeled after Christ. <laughs> Our new actions are, are, are patterned after God himself. You know, if you look at uh, chapter 5, chapter 5, verse 1, you know, right after our text, it says, As a prisoner for the Lord, then, I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Wait, that's not chapter 5. Sorry, my thing is messed up. Here you go. I went all the way to the beginning. <laughs> okay. There you go, that's better. In chapter 5, verse 1, it says, Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. 